morning. My name is Martha and I am one of the letter ladies and we like to hike to hillside letters and then go soak in hot springs. And Don is not with me today, but I'm in Thermopolis, Wyoming, and she said go for the tea. So I'm going to hike to the tea in Thermopolis, Wyoming. So hope you can come along. Thanks. So I'm just outside the state park and it is the first thing in the morning. It's probably about six o'clock in the morning. I thought I wanted, I wanted to do this pretty early before it got hot. And um, this is right by the Chamber of Commerce. That's what I'm walking by. And this is what the old stack where the, where the hot water used to come out for the hot springs, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we just uh, we just traveled down this road towards. Um, we need to get to the fairgrounds, and then when we're at the fairgrounds, then we can head towards the tea. Okay, we are walking along. You can see the sign right there that says uh, that this is the fairgrounds. Right across the street is the high school. Thermopolis is really kind of in a cool little deserty area. It's right along beside the, the Bighorn River. Oh, there's our tea. We're making our way there. Okay, so right across the street is where I'm going to turn. I'm not really quite sure what the name of that street is because it's too far away for me to read. But um, I do know if I go down this street, it pretty much takes me to the base of that T. So hoping I don't get run over by any trucks or anything. And I love those red rocks. The little, I'm not sure what that shrub is up there. See what street that is. It's here, it's Springview, and it's right by the Rainbow Motel. So just walking down Springview Avenue. So pretty, the sun just came out. Backside of the fairgrounds. So this is kind of cool. You can just barely see a little bit of the tea there, but way off in the distance, try using my finger again, right over there, there's another rock or little mountain, if you will, and that's where a whole bunch, that's where they wrote that this is the world's largest hot springs. And there's an arrow that points right to where the hot spring starts, which is kind of cool. So the tea is just right down here. As I mentioned, it's not way up on a hillside. Um, a little bit, but not too tremendously. And uh, when we were at dinner last night, my husband and I, our waiter, Ethan, he mentioned that, well, I asked him, you know, does anyone take care of this tea? Because it looks like it's in a little need of repair. And he said that when he was in high school, he's not all that old. He graduated in 2019. Um, he was on the football team and the coach would have, have the kids take five gallon buckets up there and put a little put a little uh, color on the tea. So I'm not sure maybe if anyone's done it for this year. I'm not sure if that's a COVID thing, why some letters might not be taken care of or what. Okay, we're just coming around the corner here from the tea. Okay, so we're coming up on the tea. 
Well, I have made it to the T. Um, I am not going to hike up there because everybody I've talked to so far has said be careful of the snakes and so I don't do snakes. Dawn's not here with her little snake stick so I am happy that I made it to this T. Um, it's really actually very much closer than it looks in this video. It's, it would just be like a two-second scramble to get up there but I am satisfied with seeing it and I hope you guys can come and see the tea someday and soak in the hot springs. And that's what I'm going to go do right now. It's freezing cold out here, so I'm going to go get my husband. We're going to go soak in hot springs. Thanks so much for joining me.